Hi guys, it's Anna with Lovely Lady Cakes. We're wrapping up our brunch series here, and today I'm gonna be making a strawberry shortcake with a twist. Let me introduce to you some of my friends, chefs here. Brian David. Hello folks, I'm celebrity chef, Brian David Scott, luxury coffee specialist. Yay, Mary, welcome. Thank you, I'm Mary Moran from Hail Mary Food of Grace. Yay. So exciting to be here and see what you're making. Oh, awesome. I'm stoked, I love a great strawberry shortcake. Yay. So what's the twist? All right, close your eyes. Oh, okay. Close your eyes. We're gonna do. I'm glad you picked him and not me. A smell test. Not as good a sport. You got your nose ready? I got my nose ready. Sniff this. <sighs> what does it smell like to you? That smells like the most amazing lavender in the world. Ding, is it ding, lavender? Ding, 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 ding. It's really good for brunch. Mm. And uh, all your friends will be like, it's a little bit savory and sweet. They'll love it. So. Let's begin. To begin, we have some all-purpose flour, pour that on in, some sugar, baking soda, a little bit of salt. The very last ingredient, Mary, is our dried lavender. Okay, she is gonna be stirring up all these ingredients. That Fair looks enough. good, that looks great. Well, that was and easy. then next, to bind our, our little cakes, we have cold butter. This is uh, like a great crust. If you checked out Mary's quiche earlier, she made a homemade crust as well. Oh, it's so Flaky, good. buttery. That was awesome. And she uses the same technique. Can I use my hands for this one? Yes, so she's gonna be using this okay. method. They are it's washed. called cutting in the butter. All right. She's using her, her thumb and her pointer finger to incorporate the butter and it's gonna start looking like cornmeal or um, breadcrumbs, just incorporating the butter and that flour really well. We'll keep on working over here. All We're right. gonna come over here to Brian David now. He's gonna chop up my strawberries for me. We've got some fresh strawberries. That. Beautiful strawberries. I've washed them, cleaned them, organic strawberries, and um, just give me dice, diced up. You got it. And then once you're done with that, we're gonna add a little sugar on top because the strawberries need to macerate a little bit, which just means that they're gonna sit in uh, the sugar and draw out their water and have a nice just flavor going on. Back to you, Mary. We need our egg. Am I still mixing with my hands? You still gotta go, girl. With the egg? Yes, egg, okay. and we have one half cup of milk right here. Oh, I love it. So she's just gonna mix this up. Oh, that is so gooey. The trick is, is don't over mix it. Let's give it you know, oh, thank God. a little more flour. You want me to help you? We got, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna flour down, and then I'm just gonna kinda coat the whole bad boy. I love those kind specks of. in there. The lavender looks yes. so pretty. Just gonna coat it, so now I can hold it like a bow. I know, it's really gooey, but it's gonna taste so good. And you're just literally patting it down with your fingers. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, next. To make those little cute round shapes, yep. uh, you could use a cookie cutter, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna get a little crazy and use this cup. So I just like to dip it in some flour first, and we're just gonna make little circles, super easy. So we're just gonna place that on the cookie sheet. You can just see the flakiness of the butter. We're gonna bake these at 425 degrees for 12 to 14 minutes until they have a nice golden brown. Um, but before we do that, I like to put an egg wash on there. If you wanna get even crazier, I'm not gonna do this today, but you could even sprinkle some sugar on top. Ooh. All right, now let's bake these bad boys in the oven. All right, I just took these out of the oven about 10, 15 minutes ago. They are cooled completely because now we're going to build our shortcake. Cool, I can't wait. I've got fresh whipped cream. Then we have some fresh strawberries. So now nice. just the building process. We're gonna plop a little bit of whipped cream on here like this. And then I just top it like that. Add some strawberries. Oh, it looks so good. That is such a classic dish for summer. Right? Mm hmm A little more on top to close it up. Ooh, he's gonna... I always say that fresh whipped cream is like money. You can never have too much. I love it. I know. I don't care how messy it gets. I'm going to put it in there. Love it. I love it. Okay, who wants the messiest of the ones? Are, <laughs> are we going to pick up the whole thing? <laughs> We're gonna hold it. I don't know that we're gonna eat it. Here we go. One, two, three. Cheers! Cheers! That's really good. Shut the front door. You eat this in the backyard. 
That's really awesome. Then you can hose off your your pit, your friends when they your come over. Your children. Mm -hmm. Or your children. Yum! Please watch our other episodes in our brunch series on how to make the best dang quiche and the best darn coffee. Iced coffee here. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Cheers, everybody. Bye.